I would like to begin. I'd like to begin uh, by thanking you, Mr. President. I have no doubt in my mind. We require a person of your stature, your character, and your conviction to make today's session possible. Thank you. The Ummah and the people are and ordinary citizens who believe in human rights, who believe in universal values, have admired the leadership that you've shown. I want to thank you on behalf of my government and the people of Pakistan. I also want to thank Prince Fest, you and the leadership, you and Saudi Arabia, has shown in convening an emergent session of the OIC Foreign Ministers. It set the tone for this session. <coughs> I thank you for providing the leadership and uh, steering the discussion that took place. Undoubtedly, the place that you enjoy in the Ummah is unique. You are the custodians of the two holy mosques and Muslims all over the world look up to you for providing the leadership that you have demonstrated uh, uh, recently. I would also want to uh, agree with my Dear brother, the foreigners of Algeria, this question, colleagues, is no longer, in my view, a question of Al Aqsa or the Palestinian question. It is increasingly becoming an internal problem. I'm here because the people of Pakistan expect me to be here. I'm here because I see the sentiment on the streets of Pakistan and they expect the leadership to go <clears throat> and send a message of solidarity. Mr. President, tomorrow, thank you for giving us, uh, Brother Marki, the good news of uh, ceasefire, inshallah, uh, tonight. That's good news. And I think the immediate objective of this session has been achieved. The immediate objective was ceasefire and cessation of hostilities. So thank you everyone who took out time to fly to New York to demonstrate to your people and to the Muslims of the world that you care your seriousness has very clearly been reflected in the outcome uh, of today's session. It's an ongoing session, as you said. It will continue uh, till Tuesday. But the objective, if it's true, has been achieved. And I agree with you. Where do we go from here? Ceasefire is a welcome step forward. But resolution of the problem is what is required. If things remain simmering, they will resurface. It's a question of time. We have to find a permanent solution. And this can only happen if we forge unity amongst ourselves. That is the message that the people want to hear. Muslims all over the world want to hear. Is the leadership of the Ummah up to the task? Are they understanding the pulse of the people on the streets? And believe you me, if you do not respond, the street will overtake us. The street will overtake us. And we will no longer remain leaders. We will become followers. 
And the question is, are we willing to show and demonstrate that leadership that is expected of us? So I agree, my brother, it is a increasingly becoming an internal problem. Before coming here, there was a debate in the National Assembly of Pakistan. And every democracy is divided. There are dissenting views in every democracy, understandably. But on this issue, my brothers, everybody spoke with one voice. And I carry with me that unanimous resolution that I want to share with you. And that is the resolution of a sovereign parliament which, ha which enjoys the mandate of the people of Pakistan. Not a single party, not a single leader, not a single institution is in disagreement with this unanimous resolution. That is the direction the people of Pakistan are pointing towards. And I am answering their call to be here. So thank you for giving us the opportunity <coughs> to express ourselves. And thank you, Mr. President, for providing the leadership. My last comment. My dear Foreign Minister of Palestine, one feels for you. One cares for you. And my care that I express, I inherited this from the founder of my country, Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jannah. He gave us a direction, and we have never wavered from that, that, that direction. And inshallah, we will continue to stand by you. We will continue to shoulder, uh, 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 you know, your responsibilities and, and, and uh, to raise our voice for you. Because we believe it. We are doing it out of conviction. There is no quid pro quo here. We want nothing from you. We, we believe in your cause and that is why I am here to support that cause because yours is a just cause. God be with you.